Hello everyone, I'm super excited and I'll show you why over here. I know it's not a way to start a video, but hey, I am excited. So let's get the point. This is the point right here, my car, this beauty over here, which I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. It says it's in production. So they started building it and they started building it like on the 2nd of December. Uh, normally it's like maybe like three to five days uh, build time. So it should be ready very soon and then obviously has to make its way all the way from, you know, Fremont, California uh, to uh, Orlando, Florida. So that's going to take like a week. So I'm told. Actually, they say two weeks. So, you know, they're kind of saying like December 20th, but I'm hoping it's much sooner than that. Um, but, you know, who knows? Uh, but anyways, let me show you my design over here. Well, not my design, style of design, but my choices, rather. So, I mean, it looks gorgeous. Uh, Model S. And here's what I chose for it. Uh, it has all the all glass roof. I just kept the same wheels because it doesn't, you know, we don't need anything else. I chose the uh, gray seats, which now they discontinued, so... I don't know what that means for my car. I don't know if the car's worth that last more in the long run. You know, uh, because it's going to be harder uh, to find cars with these seats from now on anyways. But, uh, you know, with the black interior, uh, the gray seats made sense. And I think they look good. Don't know how easy they'll be to keep clean. And, you know, but I don't have, like, small kids. So it should be fine. Uh... That's a total we came with the, if you take in consideration all the, uh, you know, the tax credit and stuff like that. So it's about 82,000. Um, I went to the dealer because I was having second thoughts. I am 6'4", so I'm a fairly tall guy. I test drove the Model S. I actually rented uh, for a few days, loved it, and then ordered it. That same day, actually, the very first day I rented it. Um, but the thing is, I was having thoughts, second thoughts. So, you know, in my head, I was like, did I make the right choice? Should I have chosen the Model X instead of the Model S? And I thought I made the right decision, but I wasn't sure because I never test drove the Model S X. And I never sat on a Model X before. So I wanted to be sure so what i did is went to the tesla dealership here in orlando and had a test drive and tesla was very uh nice and you know normally you have to wait when they have uh, availability but they're like you already have one order we'll fit you in and so they fit me in the same day for a test drive and this is what a test drove right here uh is the uh, model x so my thought process was Maybe I should have got the Model X because I'm a fairly tall guy. I'll be more comfortable. Um, it's going to be more uh, interior space. You know, uh, the back seats is going to be more comfortable for the passengers. And this is the interior. You know, so I figure it will be more comfy. However, so a couple of things. Took my test drive. Everything was going well, uh, and obviously, you know, on the test drive, you're always going to push the accelerator uh, to feel the Tesla power or the electric power. I did that when the Model X, the Model X has dual motors, I could feel like a vibration on the front end of the car, so the motor so like, kind of vibrates. I asked the, uh, you know, I asked the, the Tesla uh, guy that was with me, and he's like, oh yeah, that's normal for these cars, they all, you all, you're gonna feel that vibration, all of them. I did not like that. Uh, the seats were comfortable, but uh, they were, believe it or not, there's less interior space than the Model S. Not for luggage or anything, like seat wise. Uh, and these back seats right here, my son, you know, he's fairly tall as well, but he's like six feet. 6'1 maybe now, uh, and 
his feet would hit this this chairs, and so these chairs you know, maybe they were like too far back, but you know I need to ride them far back for me to be comfortable because I'm six four. Uh, but then doesn't leave much room here, and the third row of seats, which there is one, was even worse. He couldn't fit on those seats at all. So an adult would definitely have problems sitting in the third row. Like if it's a kid, you should be fine. But as an adult, you you cannot do that. So I had mixed feelings. Uh, Drives really nice. It's big. Um, there's a couple of things I don't like about the looks of the car as well. This, like the front end, is ugly. My opinion, when you compare to this, uh, this is much sleeker and like a much you know better looking car. Uh, even like if you go in the front end, see like there is a difference. There's a big difference. Uh, I like, I don't like, I like this front end. I don't like this front end at all. Uh, the side profile, it looks okay. Um, I have a couple, don't know why they did this, but this black rim over here, this plastic, whatever it is, that goes all around the car. Hate it. Uh, it just makes it look ugly. Uh, much different than this this is much sleeker and nicer you know uh you see that's the side and um yeah let's do this let's do a side by side view of them so model s on top model x in the bottom as you can I, at least to me you know this black rim around the wheels and the whole car just makes it look ugly. I would prefer if it was like this. That would be much better. Um, also, this view, the back view is ugly. They don't even show like straight back. They show like a profile because you know if you just look at the back, it's but ugly. That's how I like to call it, but ugly, uh, because it is. So all we know, uh, it was very good that it took. Uh, the test drive because now I know I made the right decision and the Model S is the car for me uh, if I had like you know, a bunch of kids and, and things like that I would probably chosen the Model X but I don't I only have one and he's a teenager now so no real need for this the only reason that I thought I might needed the Model X was for uh, space but it turns out that this has more interior space. I'm more comfy driving this guy. My pass, you know, my son is more comfortable in the back seat of the, uh, on the Model S than he is on the Model X. So that was really good uh, because, for my mind, that easy. I was debating: should I call and uh, change and try to find the inventory card that's a Model X. Oh, and not to mention the price difference, which is $20,000 difference. Also, this spends more fuel. So Model X equals more, not fuel, I'm sorry. <laughs> Still old thinking here. Uh, spends more energy uh, than obviously because a bigger car, heavier car. Um, but um, so there's a lot of cons for me and not enough pros. Um, doesn't drive as well as Model S. Model S drives like more, um, it's not stiff, it, like it hugs the road more, I guess that's what I want to say. Uh, so for me, it's a better ride. It's more, it's more of a sporty ride and the Model X is more of a, I guess, I like guess SUV kind of ride, even for electric. And I didn't like that. Um, another thing that I found out that even though the, all these cars are shown without a, you know, if I can zoom in here. Oh boy, there he goes. None of them show with like a, a front license plate. Apparently, at least in Florida, uh, I think other states as well, uh, they all come with a front license plate frame, you know, a place for you to put your license plate, even though we don't have frontal license plates in Florida so that was kind of disappointing and uh, 
you know, I was told uh, by the dealer that they cannot, uh, you see, even the pictures, they never show with the frontal license plate because it, it makes it ugly. Uh, but I was told that the dealer cannot remove that. Uh, something to do that they, okay, I th this is what I think it happened. Some guy that works at Tesla went to take to the car to be like, you know, crash tested, forgot that the freaking you know, license plate is in there. So they crash test the car with the license plate frame. And now they're not allowed to sell it without it because that was what was, you know, uh, test crashed. Uh, Model X doesn't have that problem because they didn't, they did not do the, the testing yet. Uh, at least that's my understanding. And hopefully when they do the testing, they won't do it with the front uh, license plate frame uh, to solve that problem because it's very disappointing that I get a get the car and then, you know, tweak it myself. I don't want to have to do that, but I'll, have, I'll, I'll do that because I don't want a, a, a frame over here that's really ugly. And if it's really ugly, sticks out, it's thick, and it's just ridiculous. Thankfully, Florida doesn't require it. So I'll be, that's the first thing I'll be doing. I'll be taking it off. It's not that hard. A couple of security screws in the bottom and um, some double side tape. So apparently they increased the amount of double side tape. So you need to heat it up and stuff, but it shouldn't be that hard. But all in all, I just want to do a quick video. I'm very happy with my choice. Did not like this at all. The only good thing about it is the self-presenting doors. Also, they adjust adjustable seat belts. That's nice. Um, the back doors, the Falcon Wing doors, as they call it, it's cool to look at it. It's you know, it just calls attention to the car. Uh, but I would rather these doors over here maybe open the opposite way or something, and I think it would be better than just the Falcon Wing. Uh, the glass roof would be really neat on this. Um, I didn't care too much for the drivers. You know, this part over here, this roof, I did not care too much for it. Uh, for some reason, I guess I didn't notice that, that much. I think the glass roof or what they used to call the panoramic roof on the uh, Model S would be more impressive, at least for the passengers. So that's it. Just wanted to do a quick video and uh, update you guys on the status of my Tesla. And it's in production. Can't wait. Uh, hopefully it will be done in production the next day or so. And once it is, I'll be able to, uh, you know, just wait for its delivery. I went over there, by the way, there's so many cars over there. Um, apparently, people not in a hurry to get them. <laughs> Not everybody's in a hurry uh, to get them, but I am very impatient. I could, you know, if they had this exact car in the lot, I would like drive away the same day with it. I wouldn't wait, but you know, it'll be worth the wait. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care.